the coaches figure out what they did right, what they did wrong, what to improve for the following week. One word comes out about the close loss in St. Louis yesterday, actually two words, slow start. A really poor start for us and, and got behind by by enough where it, we didn't make it back all the way. Uh, after we got past about play 20 on both sides of the ball, we were fine and we played really good football and, and saw some things that were really encouraging. Um, to see the offense come to life uh, in, in a number of ways, uh, the ability to use the whole system of the running game and, and pass protection really picking up once we got rolling and Ru Russell able to use uh, all of the receivers and, and, and mix the ball around and the receiver group played really well. Um, there was a lot of real positive things. I love the third down movement that we made on you know on offense and all that stuff. So I, I'm very very disappointed in the way we started and in the impact of the kicking game in this game. <laughs> One of the most glaring problems in the loss in St. Louis on Sunday, of course, came on special teams. There were a couple. You had the kickoff return for 75 yards, the punt return for 90 yards and a touchdown, and of course. That fake punt that ended up going for a first down. Very disciplined situation for us, and John always kicks the ball in the corner and does a great job of doing. He's been doing that for years for us, and we followed the returner and uh, instead of chasing the ball like we're, like we're supposed to, and so we gave him a, a you know a free play, and they did a great job of setting it up, and it worked real well, and it couldn't have been more perfect for them. Um, we just didn't get covered down on the, you know, we we got beat on the on the fake punt, um, in, in, in a very crucial call, and you know, backed up by their own twenty. And I mean, it's a win or lose call right there, and and, and you got to give it to them. It worked out for them. Just seconds before the game was to start, Derek Coleman hurt his foot, so suddenly no fullback. In comes Robert Turbin, who's a running back, but had to play fullback on Sunday. Robert Turbin had to step up, play fullback, and did a, a beautiful job of helping out. Um, Cooper Helfit did a real nice job of, of you know, coming in when he hasn't had a chance to start a football game. So we got some good work from those guys, and that, that will help us down the road. <laughs> There were many bright spots on offense. Russell Wilson became the first player in NFL history to pass for over 300 yards and run for over 100. He also accounted for three touchdowns. Doug Baldwin, a big day, seven catches, 123 yards, and a touchdown. But also a good day for the rookie receivers, Kevin Norwood and Paul Richardson. <laughs> They did exactly what we had hoped for them. Uh, it, really, Paul has been on it throughout. He's had a lot more work than Kevin has uh, because Kevin missed five or six weeks or something, you know. So, um, but both those guys are, are fit in. We we love them. The quarterback, you know, feels very confident using using them. They have great catching range, and and uh, so you know it's. It's a real plus that those guys got in the game and got to play, and hopefully we'll be able to keep going with that. So the Seahawks at 3-3 three and three heading for Carolina Sunday, but encouraged by the way the offense played, especially in the third and fourth quarters on Sunday. Where we are versus where we could be is so slight that um, we're gonna, the, the hope is very strong. And uh, to see the big improvement on the offense this week was really encouraging and exciting. And so we're going to keep punching at it. And it's a long season with a lot of stuff that has to be determined, a lot of games in division, all kinds of activity going to happen. And, and we got to see if we can uh, turn those finishes and, and, uh, and continue to improve. We're going to work on improving every week. After a day off Tuesday, it's back to work Wednesday. Preparation begins for the game against the Panthers in Carolina. I'm Tony Ventrella, Seahawks.com.